Right, so today we're diving into purchasing power parity. It's often shortened to PPP, you know, that's a big deal in math or economics. Really important for figuring out how much stuff actually costs in different countries, especially when you're dealing with all those different currencies around the world. Think of it this way, like, imagine you want to compare how expensive it is to live in, say, New York City versus, I don't know, Lisbon, Portugal. You can't just look at the exchange rate between the dollar and the euro, right? PPP helps to level the playing field. It's basically the magic exchange rate that would make a basket of goods, you know, groceries, rent, that sort of thing. Cost the same in both places. That makes it super useful for comparing things like, say, how big different countries' economies really are their GDP, but in a way that takes into account the real cost of living. We're going to unpack how PPP works, look at how it's used in the real world, and talk about why it's so crucial for understanding the global economy and those tricky currency risks. And hey, while you're at it, if you're finding this interesting, hit that like button button and subscribe to the channel. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. What exactly is purchasing power parity? At its core, it's about making sure uh, we're comparing apples to apples, so to speak. When we look at